uh, this is going to be a short one. Let's call it a Q&A. And the question is, uh, how do I use any SRAM instrument without a breath controller? I'll show you how to use any SRAM instrument without any external controller. That would be without any expression controller uh, like a pedal or a breath controller. Let's go over the basics first. Uh, SRAM instruments require a some sort of expression uh, data coming in and this could be from an expression pedal it, it could be from a breath controller or actually from the aftertouch of the midi guitar that works as uh, expression data as well let's do this so you see the first thing you need to do when you want to use a uh, MIDI guitar and a SWAM instrument, any SWAM instrument, without any other sort of controller. You go to the aftertouch, enable. This is really the only thing you need to do. Then of course you need to enable the bends. I usually use the range 12 because uh, it allows for bigger slides when I use the fretless guitars. Uh, we go into our instruments here. Let's take the SWAM tenor sax audio unit. Show that. And as you would expect it says uh, all audio resources loaded move the expression controller to start and if I disable this to begin with uh, you can see that okay I have something since you can see the lines moving here I have at least audio in uh, but it says warning expression controller not received please move your expression controller check MIDI options for expression CC assignment this would be the interesting part. Then I'll go into the options and the MIDI mapping and here's the expression assignment. Now it says CC11. CC11 is generally a, an expression pedal uh, setting. We're not interested in that. We, we want the value to be off the touch as I described before. This here at the bottom you see AT and that stands for aftertouch. Back to main. Before I have ena enabled aftertouch nothing happens uh, as expected. Enable aftertouch and you hear the saxophone play. Uh, this is a keyboard uh, preset and then you have pitch bend set to 3 and 2 things so I'll set this as, at 12 as well otherwise we won't have a match and we have a problem with bending securely so now for me if I bend a whole tone on the guitar it will follow my guitar precisely so matching the bands are actually really important don't forget that this is practically all you need to do now if you do you can do this with any of the SWAM instruments but I would recommend that you actually use the their presets that comes along with the SWAM instruments uh, I always use my SWAM seaboard preset that goes for the Roly seaboard it goes equally as well for the MIDI guitar uh, software it works fine for that as well but it changes the bands as well to 48 since it's an MPE uh, preset so you need to change it back or change it to 12 again since we have the software on 12 I'll go over the specifics of, of aftertouch and 
the things you actually can't do with using off the touch as an expression controller in another video that's on. But this would be the short version. This is how you should do off the touch to enable and match the bends on uh, the SWAM instrument with the band range on uh, the MIDI guitar software and you're fine. You're good to go. Thank you.